Hey guys, so a couple of weeks ago I posted a video comparing the differences between a full frame camera and a crop sensor camera. And I've been getting some repeating questions and comments, something along the lines of, do you need to apply the crop factor to the lenses that are specifically designed for APS-C cameras? And here we're talking about lenses like the Canon EF-S mount lenses or the Sony E mount or the, also the Fuji X mount, I guess, since Fuji doesn't even make full frame cameras. So do you need to apply the crop factor when you're working with APS-C lenses? And the short answer for that is yes, you do. It doesn't matter if it's APS-C or micro four thirds. If it's not full frame, you always have to apply the crop factor to the lenses that you're using. So today I decided to make a second video and do a little demonstration for you. Okay, so in front of me, I have a full frame camera on the left and a crop sensor camera on the right. On my full frame camera, I have a 35 millimeter lens attached to it. And this is a full frame lens, obviously. And on my crop sensor camera, I have the 18 to 55 kit lens. This is the Canon EF-S mount lens, which means it's only designed to work with Canon crop sensor cameras. So right now we have the lens set at 18 millimeters and let's move it to 35 so we can compare it directly with the 35 millimeter lens on my full frame camera. And let's turn these on. Let me move the camera a little closer. So here I'm showing a full frame camera with a 35 millimeter lens and a crop sensor camera with a crop sensor 35 millimeter lens. And as you can see, there's a huge difference in cropping. As expected, the 35 millimeter lens on the crop sensor camera, even though the lens is designed for Canon's crop sensor cameras, as you can see, the crop factor still applies. Let's try a different camera. So here is my Fuji X-T2 and this lens is a 23 millimeter lens and obviously since Fuji does not make full frame cameras, this lens is designed to be worked specifically with Fuji's APS-C cameras. So a 23 millimeter APS-C lens on an APS-C camera and let's compare that to the 35 millimeter lens on my Canon full frame camera. So as you can see, even though we are at 23 millimeters on the crop sensor camera, the angle of view is very similar to the 35 millimeter lens on the full frame camera. Because again, even though this lens is designed to work with Fuji's APS-C cameras, the crop factor still applies. So 23 millimeters times 1.5, should be very close to 35 millimeters. So there you go. Just because the lens is designed to work with an APS-C or a micro four thirds camera, it does not mean you don't have to apply the crop factor to display the correct focal length. So keep that in mind the next time you're shopping for a new lens and that's gonna be it for me today. And thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.